Hi. This info session is part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. One of the objectives of CMEMS is to provide different levels of information dedicated to both scientific community and other users like public authorities or industrial companies. This sub-module will show you how to browse the CMEMS website and select appropriate products and learn you how to download them. It will also show you how to display them in a free GIS tool QGIS. The particular use case shown here as an example is the following. We are a wind developer and one of our potential projects will be in the Gulf of Lyon in France. We want to get free data from CMEMS to evaluate the project. So first we go to the CMEMS website to browse the catalogue. Our request will concern model data over the Mediterranean Sea. We will then select the most appropriate products. This video will show you how to view CMEMS product. Once your product search is performed, two buttons are available to go forward. The More Info button and the Add to Cart button. Both of them lead you to a View Product button. From this button you can choose your dataset, choose your variable, choose your date and you can also change geographic projections. You save your product as a KMZ. You can even make a movie. You can as well read dataset details, view grid points values and draw vertical profiles, export the image to PNG format. Now that we have seen all the features available, I have spent some time and I have downloaded one model product over the Gulf of Lion and two in-situ products. I need to visualize them as an overlay of my wind farm project. I selected QGIS to do so. This software is the best GIS tool in the open source community, providing data viewing, editing and analysis. We recommend you the version 2.14 and 2.16 in order to read the CMEMS products in NetCDF formats. To visualize my product in QGIS, I have two methodologies. The first one is to add them as a raster layer, while the second one will use the NetCDF plugin. This way, I will import the model results and the institute data and tailor them for visualization the way I want, combining it with my WinForm project layer. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps.